Good morning, welcome to Amsterdam. I'm here for Autocon 1, the premier network automation conference. The event is sold out, we have 400 attendees, and I'm just about to go in and sign in, register my details. And we're here at the Hilton Hotel in Amsterdam, and it's gonna be a packed day of talks completely about network automation and vendor independent, which is amazing. See you inside. Okay, I'm now here with Chris, who is actually the brains behind Autocom. Yeah, half so, the team, one of the co-founders. So what actually is Autocom? Yeah, so Autocon is a network automation event. Um, we built an organization called Network Automation Forum to put on the Autocon event. So Autocon is a live event. It's the first thing we've done. Autocon Zero was in November in Denver last year. Autocon One, obviously, is right now here in Amsterdam. And we're gonna continue the series of bringing the community together to, one, see great presentations and, and learn from some of the experts, but also learn from each other. Excellent, and when's the next one? Uh, next one will be in Denver, uh, the third week of November. We're locking down the location still in contract negotiations with hotels, but uh, yeah, we'll announce the final location soon, but it will be in Denver, and it'll be in the middle of November. Fantastic. Yeah. I think I'll say on behalf of everyone, it's been a phenomenal event so far. Awesome, glad to hear it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. All right, thank you. So I'm here with Networked Code, probably the people that started this whole movement. So, um, hey, what is Networked Code? We are a network automation solutions provider, and we help customers build network automation solutions, and we go in and we can do some discovery, figure out what the best way forward is in your network automation journey, and we also sponsor a open source network source of truth called Nautical, uh, which can help you design and provide the integrated uh, systems with an intended source of truth, um, which is an important part of any network automation journey. Brilliant, thank you. Day. Okay, I'm now here at Myriad 360 with Daniel. So Daniel, what is or who are Myriad 360? So, uh, I'm glad you asked. Myriad 360 is a full-service technology integrator focusing on high-value networking solutions. But the thing that I think makes us different than everyone else is our global reach through logistics and services and our focus on automation and the full service around that. So we don't make uh, any of our own products, but what we do is tie all the products together. Nothing in technology stands alone today. Everything has an API for a reason, and we think we're the best to tie those together. Brilliant, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, so I'm now here with Wim Gerritz, and the brains behind Slurpit and NetPicker. So tell us in one minute, one minute. What is what is Slurpit and NetPicker? All right, for those who know, like, need, they work with a source of truth like networks, Nautilus, or even InfraHub, the system starts empty. So the first thing we solve with Slurpit, it will discover your full network, all the devices, all the data, running op tables, show commands, converting everything into structured data, and onboarding that and reconciling that into Netbox. So it's solving a major problem. So the whole reconcile and all the stuff, it's, it's what Slurpit does. NetPicker then is a compliance testing tool. It's a unit testing tool with, uh, with using PyTest. So it's, it's running compliance checks on your current network. You can use compliance tests on the intended configurations that are rendered or created. It uses all the plugins to speak to the data sources. So it's a unit testing framework for your network. And yeah, all the things combined make sure that you're working on an intended state in a controlled architecture way. That's really what it is. And then you can try this for free. Yeah, so we have uh, both products are using on the hood, all kinds of all open source communities like NetMeco, TextAversam, PyTest, all these things that we contribute. The application itself are not open source, but there is a free version for both. So for Slurpit, there's an unlimited device finder. So you can just put it in there, give it an IP range, even 10,000 devices, it will find them, it will add them to your list. You can, you can use that and integrate it into Netbox, so that you can have for free. If you want to run the data from those devices, there is a license beyond 10 devices. Same thing for Slurpit. If you want to replace, let's say, uh, what is it, Rancid or Oxidized, 
uh, Slurp a free version can do that for you. So it's uh, unlimited configuration backups. So you can connect it to Netbox or Slurp it, it will get all your devices in. It will backup all the devices for free. If you run a run unit test beyond 10 devices again, you need the license. Yeah. And the price is on the website, so it's one of the Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we're at the, uh, the Itential stand. It's the main man. <laughs> so who are you? Peter Spragata. Yeah. And you are the, the lead? Uh, I run product, yeah, I run product for Attential. Excellent. And what is Attential? So Attential focuses on building a network orchestration and automation platform that allows customers to be able to orchestrate network services across their infrastructure. We provide both a uh, high code and a low code environment um, that, that allows organizations to really kind of pick their journey in terms of how they want to build and consume network Okay. And what is potential? Is it the SaaS? Is it on-site? It is, it's actually both. So we offer both an on-prem play as well as we also have a cloud-based service for our product. So customers can pick and choose. And actually, we have a lot of customers that even do both. Um, because we introduced a lot of the net new functionality in the SaaS platform first, they play with it there, and then ultimately it gets consumed in the on-prem product. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, easy, easy. Okay, so now we're at Netbox Labs, which is the key sponsor of this event. Oh, we are certainly a big sponsor of this event. We love this event. And, uh, Excellent. Be part of it. Yeah. Hi. So, what is Netbox Labs? Yeah. So, first, I mean, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually the CEO of the company. So, um, it is definitely my job to describe what is Netbox Labs. And the best way to think about us is we're the commercial stewards of Netbox, right? Almost everybody knows Netbox. It's the sort of world's most popular network source of truth, system of record for what is on the network. And Netbox Labs is. We're like the Mongo to MongoDB or the HashiCorp to Terraform for Netbox, right? We um, uh, do most of the investment in the open source project, and then we also have commercial products, Netbox Enterprise, Netbox Cloud, that have additional features, are supported obviously by us. Um, we work with companies who are at scale doing automation with Netbox. Um, so that's us in a nutshell. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'm now here with Dinesh, who is the creator of Suzy Q. Hello. Which, if you haven't heard of it, Dinesh, what is Suzy Q? Uh, it's a song by CCR. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's a software, it's a piece of software that I wrote. Uh, it's open source. It basically is a network observability software. What it does is it gathers a bunch of data and then data that's typically not captured by most of the networking tools today, it's, I would say, network state, but it can, it's now increasing to gather other things. But let me back up and start again. Basically, Suzy Q gathers a bunch of data, puts them together in a particular format, normalizes them so that it is not uh, vendor-specific, and then you can do a whole bunch of analysis and it provides some analysis on top so that it helps you answer automation questions and basically get network automation without having to do network automation. Short answer. Brilliant. And where can you find Suzy Q? What, what's your? Uh, Suzy Q. Just Google and say Suzy Q network, and it'll be there. Uh, sometimes just Suzy Q gets you that we have the second after the CCR song. <laughs> we have the second one on the list. But GitHub has it too, uh, and you should be able to find it quite easily. That's Suzy Q and uh, network. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, I'm now here with the legend that is Ethan Banks. Um, if anyone doesn't know Ethan, then. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, <laughs> so you've been a big part of this event. So what's your thoughts at the end now that it's all over? A lot of common themes that popped out. That is, things like automation is about more than configuration management. That was one of the big ideas that came through. Yeah. Configuration management is an artifact that comes out of network automation, but network automation is actually about business enablement. And so if you're thinking about network automation correctly, then you're thinking about not just using those devices configured, but also how it enables the business to do something, do something important. And the way you do that is you have good communication with your business stakeholders and figure out what it is that they're looking for. They don't care that you're doing automation so much. They care about the outcome. Yeah. Fantastic. You've enjoyed the week? Yeah, I enjoyed the week. It's been great. There's been a lot of people here that, uh, that are all about network automation. So I mean, if you want your network automation nerd beach, this is the, this is the conference to come to. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is Deepak. Hi. And you're the CEO of Cloud My Labs. Yes, I am. So what is Cloud My Labs? So Cloud My Lab at the heart is an infrastructure company. But what we do differently is we are able to create a digital twin 
or POC as a service or lab as a service. Whether okay. you need a hardware or virtual devices, they're able to bring this together in a staging environment at a very cost effective price. There's no separate cost for bandwidth or IOPS. You can practically spend anything that you want. Literally, you know, any hardware that you can think of. And you know, one of my popular quotes to my customer is, I make your network dreams come true. Okay. Tell me what you need, and we'll make it available for you, hardware or virtual. Wow, okay, and you can connect their virtual, their hardware, into your virtual lab? Absolutely, in terms of access, you know, we offer our customers from basic zero tier access from their location to layer to handoff, side to side VPN, SD-WAN connection, however they wanna come and use it. And I think one thing that we do, uh, you know, the, which nobody else is even thinking about is, let's say you need an environment for network automation, right? Think of the steps that you have in the past. Setting up the network automation app, right? They're getting the devices, spinning up um, the Ansible platform or any other platform. We give it to you ready to use. They're, everything is installed, everything is ready to go. You build your topology and you go crazy. Excellent. And where do you find Cloud My Labs? Uh, we are based out of uh, Silicon Valley, uh, and uh, you know we have five data centers across US and Canada. We are building newer data centers in Europe. Our first one would be Amsterdam, coming in uh, quarter three of 2024, and uh, you know uh, we are expand also expanding into APAC. So uh, right after this, I'm traveling to India. We have in Q2 two of our newer data centers coming to India. Wow, and it's cloudmylabs.com. Yes, it's cloudmylabs.com. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So now I'm here with Darren, hey, IP Fabric. Yes. So what is IP Fabric? What is it? It's a great idea. Um, great question. Network assurance is what we call it, but really what it's about is establishing uh, a data model that represents the understanding for the network. So you don't have to do it yourself, right? You don't have to go and look at all your happy old documentation. You don't have to go and ask lots of subject matter experts about what's going on. You don't have to look at loads of different tools. You bring all of that together into one place. Um, and then give you a means to measure it. Is it doing the thing you expect it to or not? So it's all of that accessible um, over API, through a UI, you've got as much or as little interaction with that as you want, and you can use it to feed other platforms as well. So it's a bit of a data platform. Excellent. And where do you find IP Fabric? So, easiest place, we've got a, a lovely little guided demo at uh, ipfabric.io. So, if you just head there, find everything you need there, you'll find plenty of people uh, for, from the team on LinkedIn. So, uh, if you need to hit us up individually to find out more. It's really fun. Brilliant. You had a good conference? It's been awesome. The conversations, the people here and everything been fantastic. So I really enjoyed it. Brilliant. Great to meet you as well. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so now I'm here with Rick Donato of Packet Coders. And uh, Rick, tell everyone what Packet Coders is. Packet Coders is an online training platform. It makes it really easy. It reduces all the friction of learning network automation. So we provide all codes, repos, kind of cheat sheets. Uh, free tools, blogs, we've got paid courses, um, paid training, boot camps, lots of stuff all around learning network automation. Excellent, and that's packetcoders.io. That's packetcoders.io, and we've got a newsletter as well. You can go to packetcoders.io forward slash newsletter to get weekly updates all about automation. Brilliant, cheers, Rick. Cool, man. Hold on, what's going on now? Christian, <laughs> we're at the Network to Code stand. And I've won a book. He has won a book. What have I got? That yes, one there. and we have the author here as well, and we're going to make sure that the, the, the presentation of the book. from the author. This is Christian, who's the author of the book. Yeah, one, one of the one, one of the authors. authors. One of the authors. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Much. The most important. Thanks. Cheers. Brilliant. For you. Second edition. I've got the first one. Looking forward to this one. Nice. Cheers. Do you want to get a photo of the... Uh... So, that's it. AutoCon 1 is now over. Uh, what a fantastic event. There's a few people still still left here, but yeah, amazing event. And uh, the next one is AutoCon 2, which is in Denver, and uh, that's in November. So it's amazing to see an event focused 100% on network automation. And the network automation community here over these last few days has been phenomenal. We've learned so much. Uh, looking forward to the next one very much. Take care. Bye.